Speaking to the newsroom on Thursday morning, Regional Chairman Brian Alicock highlighted that many villages across the large region have been recording increases in the number of COVID-19 cases, with some recording cases for the first time. We're still fighting the COVID. We have an upsurge uh, again in the south in different villages, mm -hmm. new villages this time. So um, we still have to fight against that too, you know, along with the, the waters, the flooded waters. Right. And, uh, yeah, well, they, they have some large village crowd are, uh, Katuna Rib. I should turn is um, receiving some uh, more uh, cases, um, positive cases. So, and the team, <laughs> the team is working around the club to see how best we could address the issue. Well, of course, people interacting, helping one another. This is how the thing spreading, you know. So even though we have a village, we had it on lockdown, and Tushu had it for about 14 days, and when it is off now, this is again emerging. According to updates provided on Wednesday by the South Rupununi District Council, SRDC, on their Facebook page, there have been four confirmed COVID-19 cases in the village of Sawariwao in the South Central Rupununi and 17 cases in the Katunarib village in South Rupununi. On Wednesday also, the Ministry of Health via their daily COVID-19 dashboard indicated that eight new cases have been recorded in Region 9. In addition to the growing COVID-19 concerns, Alicock previously related that a surge of malaria cases has also been recorded for the regional authorities. Alicock also related that the floodwaters have receded by 8 inches, but they are expected to return, possibly higher. In the meantime, three families in Letem have been evacuated to the Tabatinga Sports Complex, where a number of households have been threatened by the floodwaters, according to town mayor, John Macedo. There is about 50 households that has been threatened and slightly affected, and there are some that is affected, like I said, five homes. Water um, is in their home, right? And the all total that we analyzed so far, it's 50 households, like I said, has been under threat, some slightly, and some defined severely. The region is still bracing for the worst since the seasonal flooding is far from over, according to the regional chairman. Well, this uh, climate change really creating a havoc on the predictions. But um, I know rain is continuously falling in Brazil. That my sister gives me an update every morning. And um, once the Rio Branco is coming in back, then we, you know, but at the moment it receding and the water is pulling out. We're happy about that. The regional chairman and mayor have mobilized resources to ensure that people in the town have access to purified drinking water since those people with hand dog wells no longer have access to clean water. Supplies from the Civil Defense Commission, CDC, are also being distributed. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Vishani Ragabir.